Welcome to Experience Info, the show which teaches you how to stay safe in the digital world. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at passwords, talking about how you can keep yours safe and secure, how hackers get a hold of your passwords, and what is a good password. Well, you've probably heard the tip use a longer password before. This is nothing new. Or maybe add more capital letters or numbers to your password. This can definitely increase your security, but there's a better tip. Imagine somebody playing a game of Pac-Man. Now imagine every time Pac-Man goes over a coin, imagine one of the numbers or letters in your password getting found out. Eventually Pac-Man's going to find all the letters in your password. Now there's ways of making this more difficult. First of all, let's add some ghosts. Imagine the ghost as a security system, or a way of fighting off the password breakers. But Pac-Man's still going to be able to find all the letters and numbers, even if it takes him a little longer. So imagine adding more numbers and letters just increases the size of the playing field. Now there's more coins to collect, but there's the same amount of ghosts. So it's definitely going to take Pac-Man longer to get all the numbers and letters, but there's a way to make it nearly impossible for Pac-Man to win the game. Now we're going to change all Pac-Man's coins. When Pac-Man goes over the X's, they're going to turn into coins. So this is just double the amount of time it takes Pac-Man to get in. Now, how do we do this with real passwords? In this demonstration, I'm going to show you a tool called md5.net, Password Generator. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll leave a link in the description below. So what this tool's going to do is make your password harder to brute force. Now what does that mean? You've all heard the password, password123. You've all probably used it before. This is what we call an easy to brute force password. Cyber criminals are going to have a list of passwords that have been used before. So the idea of password generator is to make a random sounding password with random letters and numbers, but making it easy to remember. Now what does these bits mean? Imagine bits as the amount of letters or numbers in your password. Of course having 81 bits would be a really secure password, but it's not one that everybody's going to be able to remember. So we're going to click 26 bits and then we're going to submit. As you can see, we got the password powerbeefy. Now this may seem like a silly password, it doesn't have any numbers in it, it only has two capitals. Now this password may sound unsecure, but unlike password123, it's not on any public list, database, or top 100 passwords of the year. So what makes a secure password? Of course, using a longer password is more secure, but many of the passwords you can think of have probably been used before. I highly recommend you use something like md5.net to generate your passwords. My final tip is don't set all your passwords the same. Even though you may have one super secure password, once they found that one password, they have access to everything. I hope you've enjoyed these quick tips from Experience Info. Stay tuned as next time we'll be talking about hackers, how they crack passwords, find information about you, and the tools they use. I'm Reese Williams and I hope you'll join us next time for Experience Info.